So, so what are you gonna do now um, in the park if you if you even gonna go back to the park mm. now that um, there's like this ban on you where no Muslims ain't gonna debate you or none none of the Muslims who's affiliated with that ban is gonna debate you. What, what, are you, what are you gonna do? I'm not even being arrogant now. I'm just being truthful. Someone will debate me. Someone will come up to me and say something. They will. They can't help themselves. Mm. I'm telling you, they can't. I can, I can stand there and not say anything and someone will come up to me. Oh, Sarah, I saw a video. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah. Would you debate people on other stuff? Like? Just anything in general. If anyone has come up to you and want to debate them. I've, I've got views on, on, on most things. Yeah. Mm. I don't have the answers for everything, but you know what I mean, I've got, I've got views on most things. So basically what I'm trying to say is your main reason for going Speaker's Corner to debate against Muslims? No. Muslims, as you know, you go, Muslims make up about 80% of Speaker's Corner. Yes. So like, you know. That's why I, you happen to be debating Muslims most of the time. I've, I've debated Christians though. Yeah. There's, there's video of me debating Christians. Yeah. But it just so happens that it's mostly Muslims because for me, I find them they're most forthright with their, they come to you and they're like, listen, this is what it is. Whereas the Christians, was, you see the Christians, they, was, they were happy being in a corner shaking their tambourine singing, bro. Like, <laughs> Christians, they like, just shake their tambourine and sing. So, you know. So, um, yeah. It's, um, I'm not going there solely to debate Muslims. I'm going there to spread a message. Yeah. I'm going to, to spread a message, and my message is that of um, unity between all black people, whether you're Christian, Muslim, Democrat, Republican, you have to forward your, your people first. And we seem to sit at the bottom of the social economic ladder and not realise that we need to get ourselves off, off, up off it. And um, I, feel, I feel like, personally, religion is a lot of what's stopping that, um, because... When we, were, when we were in Africa, when we were not Christian, when we were not Muslim, when we were not Jews, we built the most fantastic uh, civilizations and cities. And then since we've become Muslims, Christians and Jews, you can say Timbuktu, which, is a, which was Muslim. You can say Mansa Musa, which happened to be Muslim. However, the Africans of that time were already building cities, so they happened to be Muslim. It wasn't Islam that made them build, do you know what I mean? Um, since we've become religious, we don't build anything. We're waiting for heaven. People are, people are actually literally waiting for heaven or, or making or doing things to try and get themselves to heaven quicker, like, you know, being a martyr or something like that. So, yeah, my thing is, um, I think religion stifles the mind. I think um, it stops people from really progressing because you're putting your, your power to an outside source and you're waiting for you're waiting for heaven, which ain't guaranteed, and it kind of stifles you. So I think black people generally make religions. Like, Christianity would have been dead if black people and other people of colour didn't continue to be... Europeans don't care about Christianity. Generally, they don't. Their, their churches are fake. Like, they're closing churches down. There's hardly any Europeans in church, but a black church will be filled to the brim, right, with black people. It doesn't matter where you go. So Christianity is being fed now by people of colour. And it's, for me, it's sad because it's being fed by people of colour, yet the God concept is white. It's a white man at the top of the chain. And it's like, if at least see yourself in, at least see God in you. At least see yourself in God, do you know what I mean? So, um, I think you've got a visitor. How you doing? <laughs>